All right. The 5858 five, turbo. This turbo is not holding up. Holding in the oil that's coming in. Therefore, it's <coughs> spitting out through the turbine side. There is a test called the uh, smoke test in which I don't have that tool. However, I do have a hose and some tape that I can put my finger through uh, on top. That way I can seal it off. And I'll just blow air from my lungs. <laughs> and you will hear the amount of uh, air coming out from the turbine housing indicating that it will spit oil. Therefore, the oil ring is not landing completely or sufficiently. I mean, I say that in terms of gaps or it doesn't meet the, the tolerances in which in a normal operating turbo and in good condition will hold in the oil under operations. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna just breathe in through it. That's about five psi. I can do that for the compressor side, however. It does not sound like that, and it's not leaking oil through that side. If you ask me if it's my drain, I'm using three fourths of an inch all the way through with hoses larger than, therefore creating a uh, better or larger volume for the oil to have the least amount of resistance to go into the uh, oil drain hole back into the oil pan. And by the way, the drain hole is not on the oil drain pan. It sits much up higher and it's connected to the block. <coughs> so I will turn it around and do the same thing for the compressor side. Give me a second. Here again. For the compressor side. Three, two. that I will do that again for the turbine housing. Turbine housing. Again. It's kind of rough because it's having